violent sea waves and what we know is that when they rush to the shore they beat a hasty retreat no trouble caused except when you come to Akplabanya things change these waves violently cross the boundary between the earth and the sea and move into the community the canoes and boats that have been packed on the beach these violent waves overnight swept them into the community and the water makes its way further into the community leaving its wake devastation and that is a story of the tidal waves that have hit many coastal communities in Ghana including the Volta region and in the western part of the country central region in particular let me go to Kenu owners who have the first contact with the sea waves when they arrive these tidal waves do happen previously, but this one that happened, we never experienced it before. Why? How? It is very serious that it enters the whole community. People cannot sleep. Buildings are collapsed seriously. So we don't know what happened. As fishermen, how did this or how does this affect you? Good. Uh, in the fishing side, when it happens like this, you cannot go for fishing. Why? Or you cannot cross the waves to the other side and enter your boat to go for fishing. So all that we have as an our income, they have to depend on it. If you finish, then there's nothing else. I want you to talk to the government. What do you want to be done for you? Oh, I want the government to come to our aid, especially sea defense is all what we are in need of. If they give us money, it will spend it, it will not aid it. But the sea defense, it will save the people and save the community as well. So you have the signs of devastation. The football pitch that used to be here now looks like a pond. You can only identify it uh, with uh, two goal posts. Behind me is the Akplabanya DA Basic School, the District Assembly School here, where children in this uh, neighborhood attend. But today, being a Monday, you should have expected them in school. But it's not happening. Instead, the children are loitering. Let me speak to one community member who is incidentally also a teacher here. For the school yesterday, it was, it was that severe because the whole place was flooded. Yes. So when it's happening like that, we have to take a coverage of it and we know how we'll do our best for the children not to come to school today. So there's no school. Do you think there will be school tomorrow? Oh, God willing, tomorrow there will be school. Because much of the students are from the affected places. Okay. Yes. So it's difficult for them to even come. The school itself is problematic and they can also come. Yes. How do you reckon this would affect academic activities? When it happens like that, the children will not be able to come to school. Yes, because their parents will not uh, allow them to come to school. You don't think it's safe? Yes, please. As a community member, what do you think should be done? What I believe that the government should help us with the sea defense. Now, the neighboring or the company that is uh, developing the, the salt concession here in Adana, the Songo Salt, the Electrochem Ghana, has uh, deployed an excavator uh, to help remove the steel out of the water to see if uh, the water can flow back into the sea. Tell us about what you are trying to do here. We are dredging so that we will make way for the water that has gotten into the town to flow to a proper outfall. So as you can see the excavator is trying to desail the sand, remove the sand that has silted and block the pathway of the water the pathway of the water mm -hmm. so that the water can flow easily. Is this something you're doing at a fee or you're doing it uh, free of charge? Oh, we are just helping out the community. So this uh, is someone's compound. They're having to move from the ground. I go. Why is it in up here? The, the water has flooded us. I don't know where to sit down. That's why I'm sitting here. If there was no water here. Where would you have been around this time? Where would you have been? I'll be in the house or in the room. Where's your house or room? This is the, this is the house. All the house is flooded. Flo but you have enough water now. It's like a swimming pool. <laughs> oh no, it's not a swimming pool. It's not a swimming pool. How is it affecting you? How is it worried? It, it, it worries all our Disney, our belongings in, in the house or in the room. So we don't know where to go. So where did you sleep last night? I went to a different place. Can I go and see your room? Can you go and show me your house? <laughs> yes. So how, is this the first time this is happening here? No, it happened before. Mm. And this time to the same thing? This time it's, it's, it's very, it's very wet. Mm. Like I said, mm, it's, it's, it's wetter than the other day. Mm. Mm. 
what, how was what did this one do because that the water came plenty it came plenty okay. okay yeah so what did you do did you have to sweep the water out did you have to bring back it to fetch what did you do the water issue will go so you just stand and watch mm, yes mm. Mm. let me speak to the old lady and see okay. yeah so what is the situation in the world? Okay, she is going to the kitchen. Uh, she only is out of her room, going to the kitchen, and this is her compound. Just want to go with her. Oh, this is uh, what happens when the unexpected floods just come in. So she's going to have lunch in in the kitchen, which is a bit far off from her room. Ago. Yo. Lo mami, go meeting on here. Mini munyonge ne umade. Go meeting on pio. Aba iye kebua o. Mama o go miya. Why is it that you want to keep poor one or nanya? My parents are here. So we're entering this other house here, um, filled with rubble. You live in this house? Yes. Which where's your room? This side. Where? Let me go and see. How many how many people live here? You and who live here? Me and my father and my sister, my f uh, brothers. I see. So where are all of them? Instead there. They've all left? Yes. Did the water spoil your things? Yes. Which things? My seats, my TV, phone, fridge. They've emptied their room up, moved everything to their relatives in nearby towns because of uh, the shock you see you still see water on the on the floor and some of their belongings still in the room we have been going to assembly our mps people have been coming looking to what is going on in the community but since nothing has been done you, they, sound, you sound like you don't have any hope no we don't have any hope the president, anytime they can, they stand on platform. They say, "Oh, when you vote to us, we will give you sea defense." But nothing has been done till today. Why don't you go to the assembly and have a discussion? Oh, we go to assembly. I'm called Clement Cole Ejake. Once I've been with Mr. Klopa, standing on NDC ticket. I sit with him. Nothing has been done. I sit uh, with one Mr. Klofi, talking. The way we send our message to him, he's narrating different uh, stories all together. I really told him, no, Mr. Honorable, Yatiabre. Yatiabre. So as community members, what can you do? What are you doing to At solve moment, the moment, it's only our problem is any government who come to stand on platform that we should vote to him. We are not going to vote again. Because we get no, we don't get any evidence in what is coming and what is going on in the community. Thank you. The government of Ghana has general responsibility over communities like Aklabanya where this devastation has hit and they'll be asking for help from the government. But there's a local government level, there's a district assembly, and under the district assembly we have assembly members who represent various electoral areas. And there are also government appointees at the assembly whose job it is to ensure that what the community needs is really done. One of them is here with me. The job at hand and the devastation rate of the issue at the hand is such that it's capital intensive kind of thing. That will call for a huge amount of money which is above the budget of this assembly. So what we did as of last year was to appeal to government through the disassembly for a landy beach or a landy site if you like, which we think will be the lasting solution for it. When that is done it will, put, it will hold the, the sea in check. 
then the, the, the community, the, the inhabitants will look for somewhere, maybe upper ground, to settle. So this would be different from those who are asking for sea defense project. You, you don't want sea defense, you want a landing beach. We want a landing beach. Sea defense is more appropriate, as in our case now. Mm -hmm. So the landing beach will be more appropriate than the sea defense. Well, it's easy to report to you and give you an aerial picture of the situation with the uh, devastation by the floods. But if you go down into the community and get a nitty gritty, putting numbers to the disaster, uh, that would help you appreciate the story more and better. That's why we've come to the National Disaster Management Organization's uh, coordinator for this district to pick um, the statistics and also understand how the issue has been addressed so far. So in Anyamam? Yeah, 527 people mm -hmm. displaced. In Anyamam alone? Yes, please. Okay. And then in Aklabanya? Almost 700. Almost 700. Now, what happened to these people who were displaced? Where did they have to put up? Where did they have to sleep? We created a safe haven for, for them. And we tried to move them. But, you know, our people, um, timidity, like, ah, these people will love it at me. <laughs> Why am I moving from my own home to other places? But, uh, yes, we were able to convince a lot of them to move to the area council for the, the entire zone. As a national disaster management organization, um, what have you done about this so far locally? Yes, um, normally when it happens like this, um, we just get relief items from national. So in this particular instance, what did you do over since Friday? To we, we, we are now trying to, if you like, uh, Organize ourselves. Very soon, uh, leaders will be coming down. Okay, mm. but you haven't done any support relief. No, not at all. Not for now, no. And because the people are always uh, complaining, we don't need the foodstuffs. We don't need all those things again. They are fed up. What they need is uh, the sea defense to be stopped. The sea yes, to yes, be stopped. yes, yes. So that's what you are going to relate to the officials. Uh, exactly. I see.